Hi, Marlon. Hi. Hello. Ms. Hi. <laughs> How are you? Uh, Very good. Start. <laughs> yeah, we will be starting here shortly. Um, first question up will be with Gabriel Gonzalez with Cage Side Press. Gabriel, you're unmuted. Marlon, how are you? I'm good, doing well. Couldn't be better here. All the treatment and fight the Iceland being amazing. I'm great. That is great to hear. Um, I want to start. I know you were recovering from COVID uh, recently. Just what was your experience with it, and just how how are the symptoms for you? We hear it's different for everybody. It's my it was for me. It was, was minor, you know, and was like I was asymptomatic, and I feel great, and I feel great for a long time. Uh, just to ask, we know that some people who have had it, who have had it before, sometimes you know, even though they're feeling okay, their test will still come up positive because it's still in the system. Have you had anything like that going on with your tests? No, I didn't. I didn't. I had it. My test was come back clean after 10 days. Perfect. Um, since the last time you fought, there's obviously now a new champion. What did you think of Peter Jan's performance against Jose Aldo? He's a great fighter. He, he's, one, he's the best bantamweight in the world right now, you know, and not just his performance against Aldo, but every performance he had in the last couple of years. He looked great, you know, I give him a lot of respect, but he's a, um, uh, he's a bit of a guy, you know. I know the division stacked right now in the top five. I think everyone can become champion. <clears throat> Look, I think a lot of people, when they saw they booked Jose Aldo, obviously everyone was like, well, Marlon Moraes won that fight. Can you just describe what the experience was like for you to, to be the spectator? in that situation to have to watch somebody else fight some you know fight for the title like you probably felt you deserve i love a fight you know i watch two good fighters fighting and that's how i look into the fight and as a competitor i'm a 135 pounder and, and i like to learn and watching we always learn and but no no bad feelings you know that was opportunity was given to him and he, he deserved it Jose Aldo is one of the best fighters in the world. Uh, name who beat him. I think only who beat him what became UFC champion, you know. And that's he's a good fighter. And I respect, hats off to him, you know. I beat him too. Oh, this is obviously a big fight in the Bantamweight division. Dana White has said Aljamain Sterling is next for the title. Um, but if you win this one, I think it's going to be very clear you are the number one contender. Depending on when they book that fight, do you feel like you would wait for the title shot or do you feel like you'd want to stay active? I just want to fight. I want to fight Saturday. I want to put in a good performance and I want to fight again. I want the UFC keep me busy. And if, if, I, if I have the opportunity again, I'm going to be better than my last fight and then my next fight, you know, I just want to keep busy, keep fighting, and reach the best potential I can. My final question, what's the most dangerous part of Corey Sanhagen's game? He's a good fighter. He, he makes it up. He's good everywhere. And I'm looking at him as one of the best bantamweighters in the world. And we, we are going there. I'm one of the best in the world. He's one of the best in the world. And we're going to square off and show who's going to be the best guy Saturday night. And I'm very well prepared to get my hand raised. Thank you, Marlon. Good luck. Thank you. Next, we have Martina with In, in the Cage. Hello, sir. This is Martina from In the Cage from Poland. Nice to see you. Thank you so much. Uh, sir, my first question is about your upcoming fight. Do you, how do you feel being an underdog in this fight with Sandhagen? I feel great, you know. I, I feel great. I know my potential and every fight's 50-50. And why do you think you are an underdog for, uh, for the people that, that are betting on your fight? I really don't know. I don't understand much. I just understand about fighting.
Okay, and uh, um, do you think that uh, this win over Sandhagen would give you the opportunity to fight for the title again? We never know, and I want to get in there and get a good performance and get the, the win. That's all matter for me. Uh, what are pluses and minuses of of Sandhagen in his game uh, in the cage? Sorry, could you repeat that one? Of course, I've asked what are the pluses and minuses of Sandhagen as a fighter in oh, the cage? Oh, he's a very good fighter, you know. I think in the top five bantamweight division, there's no minus in any one. Everybody is all plus, 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 and everybody's a good fighter. And it's a matter of who takes opportunities and win fights. Uh, which one of your former opponents was... Uh, mm, the most dangerous in the cage, in your opinion? Everyone. Everyone is dangerous. Everyone, when you when they feel that you're going to hit them in the face, they are dangerous. And that's how you got to look into a fight. And that's it. Uh, do you think that Henry Cejudo will come back from retirement? I don't know. It's all on him. I know he he's a competitor. And when he sees a challenge, I, I think... Uh, a guy that builds what brings what he brings to the table, he will be back. Okay, thank you. That's all from me. Thank you, Marlon. And that's all we have for you today. Have a good day. <laughs>